we're on the clock, so uh, so we're not you know certainly not going to mess around. So of course, you know, uh, you know we've we've made another offer than since we've made an offer since uh, spring training, yes. And I've engaged with his agents, and it's now November, what 18th. You know, the very early stages of free agency. I think uh, our first conversation with Aaron Judge started the day after our season ended. So um, we're serious. You know, we've always said we were, and and uh, trying to find a way to make it. You know, uh, appealing for him to stay. And number 99 is literally and figuratively going to be the biggest news this offseason. Where Aaron Judge lands and for how much money. Bo and I did MLB tonight Thursday night. Bo had a, a very clever way to think about a potential contract for Judge. So let's go back to Thursday night show. I don't think the Yankees need to even dance or play around. Mm. You know what you offered. Last year, yep. in, I mean, early in the season, yep. he didn't take it. It was the seven years for 213. Correct. For me, you come in, and even if you feel like it's an overpay, you get this deal done because it sets the marker for everything else you're going to do with your ball club. Now, if you come in, if you're New York Yankees, and you make your best offer, let's just say they go eight for 330. Okay. At the front end of that, I'm going to pay them 50, the first four. Okay. I'm gonna pay, so it's going to be the highest AAV. Okay. I'm going to pay him 50 the first four okay. so that the next four, as his ability starts to decline, yeah. the AAV starts to decline. All right, back in Studio 3. I, I, I love what you that, folks. Yeah. What I think? Yeah. Hal just changed his password on his Chase account. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he just did. So. <laughs> no, but it's a creative way to think about it because, quite honestly, the Yankees have to get creative because, obviously, there are going to be some other suitors here with Aaron Judge. Yes, there are going to be other suitors, but they're also, when you start to look at the free agent market, there are players out there that the New York Yankees can pivot to that will still make them a really good ball club. Okay. The disadvantage that they would have by allowing Aaron Judge to hold them hostage is that those players will end up falling off the board. And if you get mm. to the end of the runway and Aaron Judge end up going someplace else and now you're left holding the empty bag, that's not where you want to be. So I said this last night. I'll say it again. If you're the New York Yankees, because of the number of holes they have on their team, and you look at this stack free agent market with shortstops. There are players that are on the free agent market that can bring you the value of an Aaron Judge because they're not going to cost the money that he's going to cost, mm -hmm. which is going to free up more dollars for you to actually go get another player or two with the same money. And we, right. just saw, we just saw Turner in that, uh, that video clip sure. there, Turner, Correa. Correa, and Verlander as well, three guys you're, you're thinking about. Yes. Yeah, you might be able to get a couple players. Listen, no team – wants their offer to be shopped around. What I like what Bo talked about there, it's like, listen, this is a legit offer. This is an offer that could get it done within 24 hours kind of offer. And if the player does not want it, that does allow you to maybe pivot and do some other things. I think also when you look at offers that you make for a player like Judge, and listen, the Yankees want Judge 100%, right? right? They want him bad. They want him back bad. You want to make an offer that eliminates some of those other teams out there right. that right. feel like they're in it, right. but mm -hmm. feel like maybe that price won't be the price 330 or, or something else. And if you make that offer right out of the gate, that sets the foundation for Judge. That's what he's getting. So he's going to have to decide that with the Yankees, or if he wants to take a shot, then take it out there. But instead of five teams or six teams, maybe there's two. But here's the, here's, here's the other side of that. Yeah. Okay. You're the New York Yankees. Let's say they offer 330, 340. Yeah. And you front load it, 50, 50 million the first four years. If Aaron Judge and his camp decides to not take that deal, the New York Yankees openly have appeased their fans because yeah. they went hard. The player said no. Now we have to do what's in the best interest of the organization, and we have to put a championship team together. So you have a hard date that he's going to decide that after you issue yes, that. Yes, because with the Yankees, the worst thing they can do right now is allow this to become emotional. Okay. It cannot be. Analytics are not emotional. They cannot allow it to become emotional. You have to make the offer knowing that 
This is fair market, and it may be a little bit more than market value because you're paying for him to finish his career in the New York Yankee uniform. And I think the way we've heard from, you know, Hal Steinbrenner, the owner, and also Brian Cashman, I don't think they've, I think they, they have not been emotional. I think they've been yes. very, very businesslike in their approach when it comes to speaking about Aaron Judge uh, publicly. But, but hey, Things are getting juicy <laughs> when right. it comes to Aaron Judge. But I love, I, I, I love the fact that they said we're on the clock because it has to have a deadline. Well, too. here we go. So John Heyman, who doesn't sleep in the offseason because all this stuff oh. going around. Word going around now is the Dodgers will make a run at Aaron Judge. A logical with $100 million now off the books with Bellinger, Kimbrell, Anderson, Heaney, Price, and two turners off the roster. Their needs include shortstop, third base, starting pitchers, uh, with right-handed pitching, and now – Outfield uh, relief pitching as well. Whoa. 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 So so Ronnie let me go to you first. Well it only takes one. That's the thing. Keep in mind too. Aaron is from Northern California. So only takes one team to, to come in there and basically secure the player. Well we've heard a lot about the other team the San Francisco Giants yeah. in relation to Aaron Judge but the Dodgers are always the team in it right. When you think about them they have uh, it seems like um, unlimited funds to do whatever they want to do. Um, we've heard of, of Mookie Betts maybe wanting to play second base and you'd put Judge in right field. There's a lot that the, <laughs> that the uh, Dodgers can do. They, you know listen just like Hollywood the stars go there. Oh. That's what they do with their ball club as well. Let, let me let me flip it on you because you, you did a great job assessing what you think and you know we're just we're we're laying out visions here mm -hmm. but what do you think the Yankees should do if you're an opposing team trying to get Judge what, what would your approach be if, if I'm if I'm an opposing team trying to get Aaron Judge I'm going to let the Yankees make their offer first because I don't want to bid against myself. But what okay but what if he makes the offer and what if the Yankees make the offer and he accepts and, then, you, and you and you didn't because I'm not getting into a bidding war. I'm not, if I'm the other, it's their guy. It's their guy. I don't want to play poker with it's you, It's their man. guy. It's their guy. I'm going to let them make an offer, and I'm going to let Aaron, because all you have to do is sit back and watch right now if you're the okay. other teams. Why sit back, sit, sit, because if you're the other team and you jump out there, you may actually make the Yankees go ahead and pivot without even the conversation going any farther. Right, but if you're the other team and you want the guy, yeah. like you know he's the guy you want, if you lay back and let the Yankees make the first offer, you might not get a bite at the apple. Okay, and at that point, you wasn't going to get him anyway. Well, you uh, wasn't, you I mean, wasn't, if you, if, I mean, if the New York, well, if the New York Yankees, but, because the Yankees are playing this right, Frank, okay, think about okay. this. The and Yankees, I, I, I don't yeah, and, and, and I don't the Yankees said, the Yankees said he's on the clock. Right. Which means that whatever that clock is, like for me, it'll be Thanksgiving Day. Okay. When, when the turkey come out of the oven, it's either this deal is done <laughs> or, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm now pivoting and I'm going another direction. Okay. So whatever that clock is for the Yankees, if you are the other teams, mm. to me, I'm just going to sit pack okay. and I'm going to see what happens. Okay. Because if that clock expire and they don't get a deal done, I only want to find out about the Yankee deal when Aaron Judge is in front of me. And, and when you're comparing those two organizations, let's say the Yankees and the Dodgers, Yankees absolutely need Aaron Judge. Dodgers don't. I mean, the Dodgers will be an incredible team with them, but they're an incredible team already. I mean, this, this is going to be unbelievable. <laughs>